Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. In my opinion, all foods are drugs. Now the main difference between the drug that you're thinking about versus a food is that food generally has nutritional value and a drug does not. Although you can be addicted to both of them. So things like sugar are a drug, technically speaking, but the human body is adapted to it and we need sugar. And what about the coffee that millions and millions of people drink worldwide? Caffeine is a drug, even though we drink it. We really do not need it, and it doesn't provide a significant amount of nutritional value. It does not give us more calories of energy, nor is it used to build muscle like proteins. So when it comes to your health, you have to look at the difference within the food. Is it healthy or is it unhealthy? Meaning, is it detrimental to your health? So regardless of what pharmaceutical drug you take or food that you eat, it does have similar pathways. It works biochemically. It still affects the cells of your entire body. Most people find it easier to go to a doctor to try to look for that quick fix with some kind of drug that requires minimal effort to take versus altering your lifestyle where you are forced to evaluate the food or drink choices that's best for you. The big problem is that most people who go to their doctors, their time is so limited. They're not getting enough information about your condition. So how can they treat you nutritionally? So because of time, it's much easier for a physician to recommend something to treat your symptoms, but it's still not getting to the root or the cause of your condition. So the bottom line is that you need to become more proactive with good nutrition, preserving the health and wealth of your body. So be aware of your sugar addiction. Drinking too much sugar, if it's soda or fruit juice, which we say fructose, that can cause prediabetes and insulin resistance. Eat those healthy fats like avocados, olives, and nuts. Avoid those processed junk foods. Eat real food instead. Those processed foods will trick your brain into overeating, and that will promote food addiction in many people leading to weight gain. Eat your fatty fish. The omega-3s are extremely healthy for the cells of your body. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. That will strengthen your immune system and help repair the cells within your body. Make sure you hydrate and drink lots of water daily. The majority of your body is made up of water. Eat your fruits and vegetables. They're loaded with prebiotic fiber, vitamins, minerals, and many antioxidants. Keeping a positive attitude, exercising a few times a week, and maintaining those stress levels will help that body repair and heal so you can live the life of your dreams. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.